where do you feel that you're at right now uh, when that stacks up? Because looking out, it looks like you're getting a lot of the, 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 the first team touches. Uh, I'm just in the mix. You know, I just want to come out and work hard, and we'll see at the end of camp. But it's a, it's a good competition. There's no bad footage between any of the running backs. We're all a big family. So it's a competition, but it, it's going well. Could you maybe step Now, what's, what, in terms of the, the competition, what do you feel that you bring specifically that maybe separates you from the pack a little bit? Uh, I have a good knowledge of the offense. I've been here for a year and a half now. I played all last season. It's just clicking right now. I don't have to really study too much. I look at my playbook. I know what I'm doing. Uh, I like to bring a little feistiness to the game. You know, I'm smaller, but I feel like my heart is pretty big, so I bring that to the table. Now, in terms of this competition, there's, you know, there's several guys in the mix, and it seems like... Um, and again, I mean this with all due respect. It seems like, even though you're getting a lot of the touches, maybe you're not getting as much pub. Is that is that something that you've noticed and that you've kind of maybe implemented into your game this camp? A little chip on your shoulder? I have a chip on my shoulder since I've been eight years old. You know, I haven't it hasn't came off yet. But no, as long as I do what I have to do on the field here at Protho and then Reeser, I'll be okay. The media, you know, they're gonna do what they do. That's their job. But I feel like I'm doing a good job. Now, over the over the summer and coming into this, you knew that it was going to be a dogfight. Uh, you know, anything that you did maybe differently than you had going back to, to, to high school or maybe last year uh, that you changed up? Uh, no. Well, last year in the summer, I was coming off a of knee surgery, so I couldn't do much. So this year, I just try to get my body in shape, get my body right. I was out here every day catching balls with Sean and, and the receivers, just trying to do anything to d get better, you know. But different last year, I couldn't really do much because of my knee, but... I come from a high school where hard work is what you have to do, so I was not pretty much from high school, no. And you talked about the, uh, you know, the, the, the uh, receiving core. Um, Marcus and Brandon and, and, and Boom and Cummings, all of those guys look like they, they're poised to take a, a big step, and that you know, could pay dividends for you guys. Um, what are you seeing on the receivers and, and, and Sean that you feel is going to help open up that running that you guys didn't have last year? Their camaraderie is big right now. They spent the whole summer doing routes. You can tell on the, on the field, Sean is throwing the ball before we see him out of breaks. Same with Cook, same with Boom, same with KC, all the receivers. So, uh, and they're hidden. So I sort of opened up the running game a lot, and the old line looks a lot better than last year. We're just, they're clicking right now. Everything's clicking right now for us. What, do you, what looks better about the old line? They're just clicking, gelling together. We're, we're not injured. Last year we were coming to a lot of guys injured, coming off surgeries. We're just healthy and we're ready to go. Now, uh, you, you talked about uh, working out in the summer with Sean, throwing balls together. Uh, what's your guys' chemistry like, your relationship? Well, me and Sean come from St. Amber back home. So uh, we have a good relationship, uh, as much, a big as a race quarterback running back and half. He's a good guy. I'm a good guy. We just click together. Now, uh, over the past couple of days, the, the music has been an implemented element. Uh, you know, what do you think of the DJing so far? Who's the best? I mean, you guys hang out, so I'm sure you guys get together and play some music. Who's the best team DJ? We actually have a DJ on the team. Uh, Richie Harrington's a backup quarterback. He DJs in Corvallis. But uh, I like the music so far. It's getting the people going. It's getting the, the morale up. So I like it. Any uh, any guilty pleasures as far as music for you? Nah. I like a lot, a lot of 2 chains. So if they play that out here, I'm going to get it going. Are you, I mean, so there's different ty types of music, right? Like there's music that gets you pumped up, mm -hmm. music that just makes you happy, want to cut up a rug. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you prefer before, before game during practice? I like to feel loose before games, so I like music to cut a rug, but at the same time, I like that, that music that gets you going ready to go into battle, so a little bit of both.